Okay, lately we know we've all been sneezing, we've been coughing. We're having all kinds of problems, at least at my house, Dr. Banerjee, as the temperatures are rising in the valley, the air quality has been going down. So there's a couple of things that we want to be talking about, especially if you have a child at home under the age of six. Dr. Sheena Banerjee of All Kids Urgent Care is here to give us some advice. And um, I was joking with you uh, during the commercial about it seemed like some sort of a plague or viral, I don't know, apocalypse has gone through our preschool class. Everyone has been sick. Everyone's taken their kids to the doctor more than one time, it seems. And we're all told it's viral and just kind of waited out. Right. So there is a type of virus that comes into the community called enterovirus okay. around the springtime. And we've seen a lot of that, yes. Mm -hmm. In addition to, of course, the virus that's in the community, our allergies are in full swing. <sighs> so we have, you know, a lot of itching, sneezing, yeah. a lot of wheezing because of asthma. Mm -hmm. And if you look around our community, there's a lot of flowers in full bloom. Oh, yes. And what the flowers release is a type of powdery material called pollen. And that's what's responsible for all these symptoms. So it's hard to tell when somebody's sick and when someone's suffering from allergies, right? Actually, it's relatively simple. Okay. So if you have allergies, you are not going to have a fever. Oh, the fever's okay. always the difference. Okay. Fever's always the difference. Okay. If you're running a fever, it's probably not allergies, okay. it's an infection. So if you're prone to allergies, does that make you, um, does that consider your immune system compromised and you're more likely to catch, say, something else that's going around as well? Uh, yes, so what happens is allergies occur because the immune system reacts to something in the environment, okay. right? You're allergic to some protein or some allergen in the environment, so you start producing more mucus and things like that and then the bacteria come in secondarily Ugh. and infect you know the mucus that's pooling and things like that and that's when you develop a fever okay and the air quality issue that's aside from allergies because that can affect everybody right it does uh, children especially with asthma uh -huh. uh, have a tougher time breathing when uh, the dust level is high in addition to the pollen that they're reacting to they're also reacting to the dust so is, is uh, kids if someone is diagnosed with asthma is that because they're dealing with it year-round or can it be allergy induced or can it come along with a cold or other bronchial infection actually wow you're asking very very good questions because actually, i'm wondering both. all of this for my actually, boy <laughs> <laughs> actually both okay so normally they react to some type of allergen but okay. Children that are little, I think less than five years mm -hmm. of age, they actually will respond to infections with symptoms, uh, you know, the asthma mm -hmm. will get exacerbated even with viruses. Okay, so at what point do we want to take the kids to the doctor right now? Okay, so I know that, you know, if you have mild allergies, it's okay. You can try to use over-the-counter medications, but if your symptoms are going longer than two weeks, I would say you want to go in and see the doctor. If there's any fever, you want to go in and see the doctor. Because you're dealing with something besides Because it's the not allergies, okay. yes. Okay, and then separately, if somebody has the allergies, they're rubbing their nose, they're doing all this, they're also spreading everything else, right? I mean, I've got a five-year-old at home. I cannot get him to get his hands out of his mouth, and he's touching everything, and it's no wonder that half of the class has been out sick. True, <laughs> true. So if you want to reduce this, the exposure of mm -hmm. Sim, you know, of allergens. Biohazard suit? <laughs> you could try, you could try. <laughs> it's difficult, but you know, okay. just teach some personal hygiene uh, habits to no, children. I'm <laughs> Hands out of your mouth right now, like this from across the room. It's tough. Dr. Banerjee, thank you so much. Um, all kids, you open at noon. Yes, noon okay. to 10 p.m. And you're located in? Mesa and Gilbert. Okay. We have two offices. Thank you so much. Okay. Great to see thank you. you. Let's head on into Gina. Gina?